All right, inverse functions. Let's say we have the function h uh, for x minus three over five. Okay, and the question is, what should we do minus two? What does that mean? It means evaluate the inverse function of h for x minus two. Okay, and I'm going to do it a little bit quicker now because I've explained everything in the previous part. So this is part four, so make sure you've seen one, two, and three. So I'm going to find the inverse now first of h. I'm going to write, before I start, rather than hx, I'm going to write y again. And then to find the inverse, I swap x and y. Yes, I'm going a little bit quicker now than before. Um, and then while I'm putting a new pen, I'm now going to, where are my pens? Well, I'll take the green one then. Um, to find the inverse now, I'm going to make y the subject, okay? So you really have to be comfortable with manipulating those equations there. Times both sides by five. So five x equals four y minus three. Yeah, plus both sides by three. Yeah, or some of you, you move the minus three to the other side, and that's what you guys say. You're actually not moving. That's not our job, but okay. The sign changes, plus three equals four y. And then the last thing you have to do is divide both sides by four. So I'm gonna write down here now that the inverse function of h is gonna be five x plus three, and all of that divided by four. Okay, that's the inverse function. Yeah, I'm not finished yet, because I have to evaluate it for x is minus two. Well, whatever, that's not difficult. Five times x, so five times minus two, plus three over four. You see, using a calculator is just a waste of time. Eh? You see how quick you can do this without making mistakes and not using a calculator. Five times minus two is minus 10, plus three over four. Minus 10 plus three is minus seven over four. Top heavy, yeah, improper, so turn it into a mixed number. Four will fit in once, and my remainder then is three. Minus one, three over four, which is the answer to this problem, where I had to evaluate the inverse function of h for x is minus two, okay? I think I'm gonna do one more example question in the next video. I'll see you there. Well, I should switch it up now.